today. Jefferson's Reserve Pritchard Hill Single Barrel Pick. Hello, St. Louis Bourbon Society members. This is a members only bottle review. You'll only see it here on the members page or through a link in an email that you received today or tomorrow. Um, today is the end of the year. It is December 31st. Oh my gosh, it's the end of the year. What will I do? <clears throat> oh, New Year's Eve. That's what I'll do. <laughs> New Year's Eve tonight. And I'll celebrate while I have this bottle with me. What do I have here? I have a Royals and St. Louis Bourbon Society pick. It's Jefferson's Reserve. This is the Pritchard Hill. Um, it's a special bottle. I've never had this before. I just opened it and poured a bit into my Glen, and there it is. I'm going to walk through this with you, um, taste through it, give you some thoughts on this one, and let you know what I think. First of all, Jefferson's uh, Bourbon was founded in 1997, and Trey Zeller um, one of the founders is also the master blender. Trey was interested in finishing some of his bourbons um, years ago, and he partnered with the Chapelet family out in Napa Valley. Chapelet is a vineyard that is regarded as one of the greatest in the world, one of the greatest in Napa Valley for sure, and they're known for their Cabernets, which are on par with the best quality French Bordeaux first growth. So, um, it's a pretty significant vineyard with some pretty significant grapes. So Trey uh, takes the Chapelet Cabernet casks that are empty, pours his distillate in, lets it age, and then bottles it. And this is a single barrel bottling of that process. So let's go in for a little taste here. I don't ever rate the color, but that is a pretty cherry copper color. And. All right, I'm a sucker for wine finishes. I love sherry finished. I love cigar finished with cognac and armagnac. Um, the recent Penelope Rosé cask uh, is getting hit pretty hard over here. Um, I am a fan of wine finishes. So I'll lay that out there right now. If you aren't a wine finished person, this might not be for you. But if you are, it's got this killer tannic, um, if you've been inside of, of a wine barrel aging room, there is this certain mustiness, this tannic mustiness in the air. It just sits there. And it is fruity. It is dry. It is rich. Um, I just can't get enough of it. And I love that smell. And it's right there in the nose. Lots of that dry red tannic air. There's also some stone fruit. Almost like a dried apricot or plum, raisiny, like an amaroni. Watch me toss out all the big wine word names. <laughs> all right, let's uh, go in for a sip. That's gonna make me turn my head around. Holy moly. All right, hold up. That wine, that wine in the nose is a punch in the back of the palate. Super drying mouth. It's just an amazing tannic experience. I love that flavor. But there's something else in there. Mm. Got it. When I was a kid, as an adult, Ted Drews is still a favorite, but as a kid, I would always get a Ted Drews, um, a, a hot fudge concrete with macadamia nuts and some of the cherry sauce. And I'm getting those flavors down the middle. Lots of that raw macadamia flavor, which I love. There's a bit of cocoa dust. And then there's this little bright cherry note that for me kind of peaks down the middle of the palate and kind of parts everything. And then there's that wine finish. Holy cow, this is a complex, interesting bourbon. This is not a typical wine finish for me. This is something different and it's really enjoyable. If you like ports, 
if you like Madeiras, if you like Cognacs, um, this is going to be one of your favorites, I think. Again, if you don't like wine, I would probably avoid this. Yeah, this is delightful. Mm. The two in the nose, two in the palate. The finish is light. It disappears. It trails off with some of those same flavors, that nut flavor um, and the whininess, but um, it just disappears. Almost no heat, very smooth. So wine finished, big nose, bold flavors, super mellow, um, super smooth finish. If those things appeal to you, this might be a good buy for you. I know that at Royals, if you, uh, if you get the email from us for this bottle and you print the email, and show it to the clerk at Royals. Uh, members will get 10% off the bottle price. I think it's 85 for the bottle. Take 10% off that, so you're in the mid-70s uh, for a bottle of Jefferson's Reserve Pritchard Hill. Again, thank you for being here. Thanks for joining me, and Happy New Year, and I hope to see all of you at events in 2023.